This is a video by Richmond. Today we are working on a Saturn S series. This happens to be a 1998 model. And the problem we're having today is we have this spot underneath the vehicle. Yeah, you guessed it. It's right above the water pump. So we got to get in there and we got to replace the water pump. First thing we got to do is get the vehicle up in the air and support it so we can get underneath. Next we have to make sure that the engine is cold. This engine is cold and while we're up here we may as well remove the cap from the expansion tank because we got to drain our coolant. Next thing I did was to remove the front tire and wheel assembly. Then, underneath here we have two plastic splash shields. They're held in by two push pins. This one right here, I removed them. There's that one. And... This one over here. There we go. We got them all out of the way. And if we look carefully, we can see the drip of coolant. There it is. Look at that. Dripping from the water pump. The next thing I got to do is drain the coolant from the radiator. Right up here, we got a container on the floor. While the coolant is draining, it's a good time to take off the serpentine belt. I've got a 14 millimeter wrench on the tensioner. And we'll move it towards the front of the engine and we can take the belt off all right the coolant has stopped so now we can close the drain And the next thing we're going to do is remove the block drain. Alright, that block drain plug is a 10 millimeter headed bolt. Okay. Shouldn't be much there. Let that drip a little bit and uh, we'll put the uh, plug back in. Next thing we got to do is to remove the three bolts that secure the water pump. How do we keep that pulley from turning? Well, there's two ways that I know of. First, you can get a screwdriver in here lock the two of the heads of the bolts and then loosen one at a time then you can use a strap wrench now there's a third method that someone told me about and we're gonna try that today we're gonna wedge a block of wood in there and see if that will stop the pulley from turning. Well, the block of wood just kept slipping on the pulley, so that's a no-go. So what I'm gonna do to speed things up is I'm gonna use my butterfly impact 
with a wobbler extension, 6.10 millimeter socket. See if we can loosen those bolts. All right, this is the last bolt. Hey, and our pulley is loose. No rust holding that on. Now some of these, some of these pulleys have to come off with the pump. I don't remember if this one did or not. Hopefully it'll come off. And it will. Next thing we need to do is to remove these bolts that secure the water pump to the block. All right, we got one bolt left in the water pump. And it looks like the water pump is all loose. That's good. Hopefully. Hey! There it is. Now one thing about these water pumps. If you're looking for one, you can get in the vehicle right away. Make sure you get a pump with a rubber gasket like this one has right here. Now on this AC Delco, it has a fiber gasket. So we're gonna have to use RTV sealant on it, and that's gonna take 24 hours to cure. So you have to be a little wary of that. One last thing, if you do use the fiber gasket with the sealant, be careful of this area right here. There is a hole in the block and then you got this area right here on the pump that you don't want to plug up. Alrighty, so let's get our new pump in. Last bolt. The bolts are all clean, so they go in pretty easy. Wire brush them. We're going to tighten them in a crisscross pattern. So we get them all tight. I have this long screwdriver that I'm going to wedge between the heads of the bolts. Put on the serpentine belt. Oh, this is a custom wrench I made. I think I made a video of it. Makes things a lot easier. But you can do that with any old wrench. The um, 
pumps in, the belts in, we're ready to put our coolant in. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the coolant in and then we're going to warm up the engine so the thermostat opens up. And then we're going to check for leaks. And then we're going to let it cool down. And then we're going to top our fluid off to the correct level on the expansion tank here. Just came back from a long ride. Highway speeds, temperature was normal. I was using a scan tool just to make sure everything was okay. Brought it back in the garage. Check for leaks. No leaks. Beautiful. So we're all set. We're going to let it cool down now and then we're going to check the coolant in the pressure tank and bring it up to where it belongs when it's cold and we're all done. That's a wrap for replacing the water pump on the Saturn SL2.